Hello and welcome to Smart Agriculture. I am Vivian Fernandez here in Gulbarga in Karnataka, one of the major pigeon pea or arar producing districts of India. Pulses are an essential accompaniment in every Indian meal. As incomes increase, people tend to eat less of energy giving cereals and more of protein rich pulses, though per person availability has declined since the 1950s. In recent years, despite best ever production, imports have been increasing. No Indian meal is complete without dal and no other people consume as many varieties as Indians do. Their high prices make homemakers anxious and governments nervous. Pigeon pea has touched levels never seen before. Over the past 10 years, wholesale prices of pulses have more than doubled or tripled. That of moong bean rising the most followed by black gram, lentil, chickpea and pigeon pea. The averages conceal stock volatility. Retail prices are stinging. बहुत फर्क पड़ा है पहले हमारे घरों में दोनों शाम में दालें बनती थी लेकिन अब एक शाम दाल बनती है वो भी पतली बनती है क्योंकि महंगाई बहुत हो गई है दाम इसके करीब करीब डबल के करीब हो गए हैं और आम जनता तो इसे नहीं खा पा रही है हम मिडिल क्लास फैमिली हैं इसलिए एक सा एक बार भी खा ले रहे हैं अभी ऐसे तो पल्सेस के जो रेट्स हैं वो डे बाई डे इंक्रीज ही हो रहे हैं चाहे वो दो रुपये या चार रुपये ही हों बट कि वी एक्सपेक्ट कि अगर दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट अगर इस चीज़ को थोड़ा सा कंट्रोल करे इस चीज़ के लिए तो इट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर ऑल ऑफ आस क्योंकि हम लोगों को किचन के अंदर इस चीज़ को वो संभालना थोड़ा सा प्लस माइनस करना ही पड़ता है हर चीज़ के अंदर अगर एक बार में दाल अगर दो बार बच्चे खाना पसंद करते हैं तो उसको हमें एक बार भी रिड्यूस करना पड़ता है तेजी का कारण ये है कि जब मार, मार कुछ मार्केटों में सट्टा हो रहा है कुछ माल कम है इस वजह से दो दो हज़ार रुपये तो हरड़ की दाल में बढ़ गए हज़ार रुपये उर्दों में बढ़ गए गरीब आदमी खाए तो खाए क्या तो कटोरियों से दाल गायब हो गई मार्केट में घाक नहीं है गवर्नमेंट सुन नहीं रही है कि थोड़ा बहुत गवर्नमेंट को भी एक्शन लेना चाहिए और ये, ये और भी जो जो है गरीब आदमी बिल, बिल्कुल लाचार हो गया है जैसे हमारी दुकान पे काबली चना पचपन सौ रुपये है बढ़िया क्वालिटी डबल फाइव डबल जीरो है ये नियर अबाउट अस्सी रुपये किलो पिचहत्तर रुपये किलो मार्केट में बिकता है राजमा हमारी दुकान पर यहाँ बासठ तिरसठ सौ रुपये है मार्केट होलसेल मार्केट बासठ तिरसठ है बढ़िया से बढ़िया राजमा वो अस्सी नब्बे से कम कहीं नहीं बिकता रिटेल में दलहन की तेजी का मुख्य कारण हमारी सरकारों का कृषि क्षेत्र को उपेक्षा उपेक्षित दृष्टि से देखना आज मैं समझता हूँ मेरी अपनी निजी सोच ये है कि देश में औद्योगिकरण को बढ़ावा ना देकर सरकार का विशेष ध्यान कृषि की तरफ होना चाहिए production of pulses has risen handsomely in recent years in 2013-14 it reached a high of 19 million tons about 9 million tons more in 2000-2001 though production has increased by 3/4 since then it has been unable to keep pace with demand availability per person has declined to 42 grams per day as a matter of fact our domestic production is less than what we require to consume in in our own you know the market and it so happened that uh, while the cereals you know they picked up and their productivity increased pulses we did not show the same kind of pace you know in the productivity increase that is why our production is less than our current requirement the quantity imported has more than doubled over the past 10 years it has gone past the 3 million ton mark this is 16% of domestic production pulses are the second largest item of food imports after cooking oil and accounts for 10% of the country's total agricultural import bill because of the high indian demand import prices have also more than doubled during this period we all need to work together be it the agriculture extension department or the department of agriculture itself the state agriculture universities and even the icr and the national food security mission all of them need to work together what is happening is there are all these efforts going on but these are all uncoordinated and haphazard if only we can put all these things together if all these things can come together we can definitely do wonders because the money is being spent but money is not being spent in a coordinated manner and efforts are sort of disjointed India is the largest producer of pulses in the world with a quarter of the global share. It has a pole position in certain crops. In chickpea or chana, which is the most consumed pulse in the country, 
India's share is 67%. In pigeon pea, which is the second most consumed, it is 64%. The annual growth rate of pulses worldwide lagged that of rice and wheat for 40 years till 2001. There has been a reversal since then. Area under pulses in India has remained flat at around 25 million hectares for the past 25 years. The increase in production has been due to a modest rise in yield. Erratic weather has been a factor in discouraging farmers. People have been reduced in the field. In the first place, there was no one hectare. Now they are growing. They are growing up to 10-5 years. They are growing up to their own money, for their own money, for their own money. Farmers like Uday Bir Singh of Kanpur do not have the confidence to grow traditional long-duration pigeon pea. Singh is well versed with the agronomy of the crop. He has picked up quite a lot from scientists at Kanpur's Pulses Research Institute. Pigeon pea is low cost and low maintenance, requiring just one or two irrigations. Yet, Singh has decided that a crop of nine months is just too much exposure to risky weather. <laughs> जो उत्पादन यहाँ होना चाहिए 25 कुंटल हेक्टेयर पर, तो वहाँ मात्र हेक्टेयर पर एक कुंटल निकाल रहा है। But pigeon pea prices have been tempting enough for some farmers to place hope above experience. The Med Department's prediction of scanty rainfall this season has encouraged them to plant it, as pigeon pea thrives with little moisture in dry weather. नहीं यार हर सोच के सर इसलिए कि ये कि ये असीचित जमीन थी और इससे उत्पादन भी हम अपना कर लेते हैं सर अरहर का जो है मिनिमम जो उत्पादन है वो हम अच्छी तरह से कर लेते हैं इतना हम लोग अरहर और चने और मूंग में ट्रेंड हो चुके हैं कि मौसम को इस बार भी कर लेते हैं अरहर में सर तीन बार फूल आता है तो एक बार नहीं लगेगा दो बार नहीं लगेगा मगर तिबारा हम लोग उसको उत्पादित कर लेते हैं दवा डाल के या डॉक्टर एस सिंह द्वारा जो है सही समय पर सही सलाह दे करके कौन सी दवा कितने समय पड़नी है उसको जो है वो ट्रीटेड कराते रहते हैं बराबर वहाँ से डॉक्टर भेजते रहते हैं वो अपना रिजिक्षण करते रहते हैं हम लोगों को बराबर बताते रहते हैं तो इसलिए हम लोग सर अरहर में दलहन में थोड़ा ज़्यादा परिपक्व हो गए इसलिए कि हम लोग 2006 से कर रहे हैं सर Preparations for sowing were in full swing in the Gulbarg area as well. The local research institute had exhausted its stock of seeds and would have borne the brunt of farmers' anger if delayed rains had not curbed their enthusiasm for the crop in parts of the district. The temperamental weather had been quite generous in other parts, enabling Vittal Chavan to sow all 16 acres with a variety of pulses. The crop was a foot high when we visited him. Though farmers are allured by the promissory note of handsome gains, they are seldom able to encash it. Small holders usually borrow on the security of their produce, which they are compelled to sell as soon as they harvest, when prices are at their lowest. A boom-bust cycle prevails which explains price volatility. Even the government open market purchases to stabilize prices do not help small holders. The farmers are with the commission agents in the grip of the commission agents because you know they take whole year some money from them and these commission agents will never allow them to go to these uh, government procurement uh, cells and even if they go to the government procurement cells they have got a lot of three or four uh, documents to be brought and with these documents and uh, it becomes difficult for them to get it at that stage because they want money so earlier is better so they sell it that's why I think the policy makers should see to it that somehow the farmers should get benefit. Often the policies of the government aggravate the plight of small holders. Since it does not procure pulses, minimum support prices do not mean much. States like Madhya Pradesh give an additional bonus for wheat procured, which shifts land away from competing chickpea or chana. Imports to relieve shortage have persisted long after their expiry date, causing prices to collapse. Even the subsidy scheme works against pulses because the prices of potassium and phosphate which they need are market-based, while those of urea or nitrogen which they do not need are subsidized. Those who are growing pulses, they should be given some kind of incentive, maybe per unit area. And in general, we say that we fix 50 to 60 kg per hectare nitrogen. If we have to account for it, or soil fertility is improving, or soil texture is improving, सस्टेनेबल प्रोडक्शन के लिए राइस वीट के सस्टेनेबल प्रोडक्शन के लिए पल्सेस का जरूरत है तो अगर ये सबका जो उसके बेनिफिट्स हैं इनको भी अगर हम अकाउंट फॉर करें
तो नेचुरली जो पल्सिस का जो प्राइस है मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस वो भी अच्छा होना चाहिए और गवर्नमेंट को चाहिए कि किसी न किसी रूप में जो फार्मर्स को इनक्रेज करें बाई वे ऑफ मे बी प्रोक्योरमेंट और मे बी दी अदर सोशल लाइक सब्सिडी Storage is also an issue that works against small farmers. Processed dals keep well, but insects tend to get attracted to whole pulses. This is a major worry with monsoon crops which cannot be easily dried. Just as the government has incentivized cold storages for potatoes, it needs to craft a policy to encourage the creation of go-downs for pulses. We we'll slip into a break when we return a snacking view of the issues facing the principal pulses crops. Stay with us. You're watching Smart Agriculture. Welcome back to Smart Agriculture. Pulses are not alike; they have the unique character and flavor. So, what is the status of the principal ones with regard to productivity, climate resilience, and resistance to diseases and pests? There has been impressive growth in the area, production and productivity of chickpea or chana. Production in 2013-14 was the highest ever, and area came close to the peak of 1959 to 60. This is a crop that is not sensitive to heat or light hence the loss of 4 million hectares in cool north india has been made up in warm central and southern india the development of short duration varieties that can tolerate drought and heat has helped there is a need to create varieties that combine both the traits large seeded kabuli chana has been developed and small quantities are being exported a machine harvestable variety should persuade those who are deterred by the high labor cost of harvesting a harvesting was a tedious now we are in this research stations we have developed one variety that is gbm2 which is tall uh, sufficiently it is tall about 2 feet uh, height and uh, upper part of the 1 feet is uh, productive and uh, below that uh, there is a, a non productive part there we can go for uh, mechanized harvesting hence the a uh, lot of farmers can uh, uh, save two things one thing uh, whatever he used to go, uh, go uh, last uh, due to the harvest around 20% estimated to the 20% will be saved as well as labor uh, cost of the labor is around uh, that also 20% so around 40% is the savings are going on in chickpea pigeon pea is the second most consumed dal in india productivity has stagnated at around 700 kg per hectare for many decades because farmers in northwest india are shunning the high yielding but long duration 9 month variety short duration ones are not very productive Hyderabad's Ikrisat has now developed a hybrid, the first for a pulse crop, but seed multiplication is an issue. Hybrid pigeon pea yields 2500 to 3000 kg per hectare. Opinion is divided on whether these yields can be achieved in farmers fields, but Ikrisat contests the skepticism. This hybrids have been tested under varied conditions in shallow black soils, medium black soils and even uh, deep uh, black soils. and the advantage of uh, hybrids over varieties has been reasonably consistent see in very dry areas we may get slightly lower advantage maybe 30% but if the soils are better maybe we may get 45 to 50% more but one of the best things that we found in the hybrids is its drought tolerance because they grow fast they put root system very deep and they can get water from the lower levels so they are more drought tolerant than a normal variety 
Moong bean is an easily digestible pulse of which over a million tons is produced in about 3 million hectares. The development of short duration varieties maturing in about 60 days has made it an opportunistic crop that can fit into the rice cycle of eastern India or the rice wheat pattern of central and northwest India. We are advising farmers you know, in Punjab, Haryana, Western Uttar Pradesh, seat of green revolution, you know, where the productivity of wheat and rice is very high, that at least one crop you grow as a legume just for sustainability of the system. And uh, in recent years, you know, a lot of area has come in moong bean. Once, uh, you know, the rice, summer rice is stopped, now moong bean has come in a big way. And I see in last four or five years, area in summer in moong bean has been just doubled. Production of pigeon pea and chickpea can increase by 40% according to some estimates if losses caused by a pest called the pot borer are eliminated. Genetically modified Bt technology employed against the ballworm with good results in cotton can be used in chickpea and pigeon pea as well and research institutes in India are engaged in it. The major problem that still remains is the pot borer which is a major problem and that is where I think uh, we don't have good available resistance in the local varieties. So we have to depend on genetic modification. This is where Bt chickpea or Bt pigeon pea are going to be of help, but scientists are constrained because we cannot go to field level trials because there is a moratorium on this. But if that can happen, that will be the biggest revolution that can happen in both chickpea and pigeon pea if we can get good Bt chickpea and Bt pigeon pea which can reduce the damage by pot borers. The production of seeds needs greater attention from the public sector. Private companies are little interested in the production of seeds for pulses crops as farmers can reproduce them on their own. The seed replacement ratio varies with states and crops. In Andhra, it is as high as 70% for chickpea. The ideal is about 25%. The Indian Institute of Pulses Research claims it has played its part by producing enough breeder seeds. The hitch is in multiplying them in enough quantities to meet farmers' demand. The breeder seed production has been very good. We have achieved breeder seed production for 15,000 tons. And that is sufficient for pulses production in India. जो हमारा 25, 24 मिलियन एक्टर एरिया है, उसके लिए ये सफिशिएंट है। बट दिक्कत आती है कि इसका जो सब्सिक्वेंट कन्वर्जन है, जो फाउंडेशन सीड है, सर्टिफाइड सीड है, जिसको हम क्वालिटी सीड कहते हैं, फार्मर्स के पास जाता है कमर्शियल सीड, वो नहीं बन रहा है। तो जो कन्वर्जन है, उसका नहीं हो रहा ह Seeds fetch a higher price than unprocessed dals, but require producers to be diligent. Seed companies engage groups of farmers, but if quality parameters are not met, the lot is rejected and the entire group suffers. No, I don't do anything, but I don't do anything with the technique. When the seed comes, it will fail. So, if you don't know, there's no difference. If you don't know, then you'll get a big deal. If you don't know, then you'll get a big deal. Then you'll get a big deal. Then you'll get a big deal. सब लोग कट रहे हैं। And that is all we have in this episode on pulses. We'll be back with another final wrap-up episode. Till then, goodbye. Take care.